Hi, you are looking at the new EPA SWIM 5.1.011, which has a nice new feature called Events, which allows you to have uh, detailed hydraulics on the time specified for those events, and then uh, just normal hydrology and hydraulics on the other times. So to see how this thing works, uh, we'll look at the way it, way the normal things it works is. Um, we're looking at a, a thousand year storm, just gonna run for 50 years though, or 10 years in this case. So 2,500 to 2,510. There's a 0% in steady state. So what are our options? So you can see what the, what the flows look like. So we're gonna go over here to the events and we're gonna turn on our events for these two dates, a beginning and middle event. And you can easily change the, um, the starting points by going coming here and let's make that a little bit longer it's basically for the whole for the whole year and the other option is steady flows we'll leave that there so go ahead and run it. it runs pretty fast at first it just does the rdii and it's making the rdii interface file right now so we're coming through here ran it get a continuity error because it's assuming things in the in this interstitial time so here's our first event. It does all of the hydrology, all of the hydraulics. Here it does all the hydrology, but no hydraulics. It just continues on whatever was there before. Same thing here. It does all the hydrology, all the hydraulic hydraulics, and then stops doing the uh, hydraulics, but continues doing the hydrology. So if you look down at the bottom of the status report, 46% of the time we did steady state. So we only were interested in these events and these two period of events. So that's all that's all the program did. All right, what if we turn these off? So I'm going to turn those off. And we're going to come back to time steps. I'm going to use steady flow period. So whenever the total inflow is less than 5% of the previous inflow, it'll say ah, I'm in steady state and basically use the um, the regular solution. I mean, right or just use no hydraulic hydraulics only hydrology. So again, we're doing the RDII. I'm going to sped this up by making RDII file. Coming through, doing our 10 years of data. And you can see there's a lot of a little adjustment there. So if we look down at the bottom here, 15% of the time we did steady state. So if we were to zoom in here, let's make this a little bit bigger. And periods. So anyway, that's a little bit about the event feature. This is also inside of um, InfoSwim. We call it a non-steady period. And this was um, all done courtesy of Mitch Heineman of CDM Smith in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Thank you very much, Mitch. And um, it's a really kind of neat tool. It basically allows you to do really long continuous simulations, but focus in on particular events. And as always, you can find those events by coming over here, over here to statistics little guy here and find this time and we're going to do this now now we get a lot of events now we get 96,000 events we can do a histogram do uh, an event plot frequency plot etc in our model anyway so this is um, a really nice little tool, as I mentioned. It's under Options, under Events, and it's also inside of um, InfoSwim, as I say in a previous um, blog or, or video. So thank you very much for listening.